Hello, today this is Coach Lewis, story and movement number five. And today we're going to start off with a story and it's about Topsy and Tim in the gym. So Topsy and Tim in the gym. Okay. Topsy and Tim in the gym. Topsy and Tim were playing in the garden with their friend Josie Miller. Suddenly, Josie turned a cartwheel. Who can do a cartwheel? Who can do that? Give it a go. I bet I can do that, said Topsy. Me too, said Tim. It's easy, but it wasn't. I can do somersaults and handstands too, said Josie. And she did. Topsy and Tim wanted to know how. Josie tried to teach Topsy and Tim. It was hard work. I go to gym club, said Josie, at last. Why don't you come? Mummy thought it was a good idea. Perhaps they have a beginner's class, she said. The next day after school, Topsy and Tim and Mummy went with Josie to the leisure centre. They sat and watched Josie and her friends doing gymnastics. I'd like to do that, said Tim, watching a big boy bouncing in the air and turning somersaults on the trampoline. Look at Josie, said Topsy, as Josie swung from bar to bar like a gymnast on television. At the end of the class, Topsy and Tim met Liz, the gym instructor. She was very kind. Would Topsy and Tim like to join my beginners class after school on Wednesday? She asked Mummy. Yes, please, said Topsy and Tim. After school on Wednesday, Topsy and Tim rushed home to change into their gym kit. I can't find my plimsolls, called Tim. Where's my t-shirt, said Topsy. At last, they were ready. Several of Topsy and Tim's school friends belonged to the gym club already. Hello, Andy. Hello, Kerry. We're joining the beginners class, said Tim. They all went into the gym together. Who will help get the mats out, called Liz. All the children helped to put them in place. Kerry turned cartwheels on the mats. I'm going to do that soon, Topsy said to Liz. First, we'll start with some warm-up exercises. Stand on your tiptoes, stretch your arms high. So, we're going to give it a go. So on your tiptoes, we're going to stand very, very high. That's one of the first moves we're going to do. Topsy and Tim wobbled a bit at first. Now jump in the air like a rocket, said Liz. Well done, Topsy and Tim. Liz made them touch their toes without bending their knees. Hop, skip, and then jump on the spot. And also jog on the spot. Topsy and Tim soon felt warmed up. So I think today one of the things we can do is do some of these warm-ups. Liz had two grown helpers called Josh and Tina. She split the children into three groups. Topsy and Kerry were in Josh's group on the balancing beam. Kerry was good at balancing. She walked along the beam quite quickly. When she reached the middle, she stood on one leg. Topsy went along the beam very slowly and she wobbled a lot. Stretch your arms out sideways, said Josh. It will help you to balance. So remember, on the beam, if you have your arms out, you can balance perfectly. Topsy reached the end of the beam without falling off. Well done, said Josh. Tim and Andy were in Tina's group at the box. Andy went first. He ran, jumped onto the box, hands first. 
and bent onto that bouncy mat. He turned a somersault and stood up, arms outstretched. Very good, Andy, said Tina. When it was Tim's turn, Tina stood by the box and helped him to jump on. It's not as easy as it looks, she said. Tim landed safely on the bouncy mat. Instead of doing a somersault, he bounced as high as he could. It's like a trampoline, he said. When all the children in Tim's group had jumped over the box three times, Liz blew a whistle. Each group moved on, she said. Tim's group went to a balancing bar. Topsy's group went over to Liz at the high bars. The high bars are very high and you hold on to them and you can swing. These are called, that's a big word now, these are called the asymmetric bars, said Liz to Topsy. When it was Topsy's turn, Liz lifted up and Topsy held tight to the bottom bar with both hands. Then she swung backwards and forwards, higher and higher. Topsy felt like a real athlete. Topsy and Tim liked all the apparatus. But Tim, like the trampoline, best of all. The children went on it one by one. When everyone had two turns on the trampoline, Liz blew her whistle. Time for the floor exercises, she said. We'll start with handstands. Do you know what a handstand is? Mm. With a little help, Topsy and Tim did some handstands. Now we are going to teach you how to do cartwheels, said Liz. Yeah, said Topsy. Josh turned cartwheels to show them how it was done, and all the children had a goal. Topsy tried hard, but her legs would not go up and over. Take a little run at it, Liz told her. Then down with one hand, down with the next, legs up and over, and land on your feet. They had only five minutes to practice, before it was time to go. All that week, Topsy and Tim practiced cartwheels in the garden. Josie came and helped them. On Saturday, they put on a gym show for Mummy and Daddy. Tim turned somersaults and did a handstand. But Topsy became the star of the show where she turned a perfect cartwheel. So this was Topsy and Tim's day at the gym. So what was your favorite part of the story? So with our movement today, we won't do cartwheels and we won't do anything on high bars because we don't have the space to do that. But as you're at home, what you can do is some of the warm-ups. So today we're gonna to practice some of the warm-ups and that's gonna be part of our movement today with Topsy and Tim at the gym. And you can find this book in reception downstairs. So, in Topsy and Tim in the gym, they did a lot of things like cartwheels, somersaults. But what we're going to do today is do some of the stuff they did when they were warming up. And one of the first exercises they did as warm ups was to stand on your toes and stretch as high as you can. So let's see if you can do that. That's when they're warming up. So let's see how long and how high you can stretch. So go on your toes and then stretch as high as you can without wiggling. It is quite hard. How long can you keep this for? Stretch as high as you can. Go right to the ceiling and stretch. How long can you do this for? Can you beat me? I'm not moving. That's it. Stay as still as you can on your toes and get a nice stretch out. Now, the so first one we're going to do 
Next thing we're going to do, we're going to do get you warmed up, get your legs warmed up, jogging on the spot now. Can you do this? And try and be on your toes as well, just jogging on the spot. Let's go for 30 seconds. That's it, jogging on the spot, shaking out as well, get your body nice and warmed up. How are you feeling? Nice. Let's go a bit faster now. On your toes. And now shake out, give yourself a nice little shake out. So shake out, shake that body out, get yourself nice and warmed up. And now what we'll do now is get our arms as big as we can and make big circles. Big circles, big circles, nice and big. That's it, massive circles. Ooh. Get your arms warmed up and your shoulders warmed up. And I just have a little skip. That's it, side to side. moving and now let's get the hips stretched out as well. Now, oh get them hips nice and stretched, get them nice and warm as well. And now if you do this one as well, so we've got up quite long, get hips stretched out a bit more, go touch one foot, then touch the other. Then one foot, and then the other, just like this. And now, let's see some nice big jumps. Jump as high as we can. That way, our boys will be ready and warm to do some gymnastics. So, big jumps. Oh, and again, another big jump. Reach as high as you can. Big jump. And again, as high as you can. And again, another big jump. So now we've done big jumps, we've got our body stretched. Except today, we won't do no cartwheels. But there's one thing in the book we should learn about. It was balancing on the beam. So now I'm going to try myself to show you how we can work on balancing. And there's a very crucial point they said in the story. When you balance, have your arms out. That's meant to help you. So I'm going to give it a go using the bench here, showing you how to balance and walk across a beam. Just to make sure it's nice and stable. Conscious is going to try and walk across. Now, do you think I can actually do it? Let's try. Let's see. You got one foot on, the other foot. Oh. Oh. Don't you keep your arms out, the arms always helps. Whoa. The concentration as well. Uh oh. But take your time. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Whoa. Oh no, I didn't do it. So now, what tip do they say so you can balance across the beam? They said to have your arms out. So let me try now with my arms out and see if I can balance now. So, arms out, I've got long arms. And I'm gonna try and balance now my arms out. Can I do it? Ooh. That was a bit tough. I'm going to try again. With my arms out, will I be able to balance? Let's try. So, arms out. Oh, 
Ooh. It was a lot better. Now, I'm gonna try a challenge now. Can I do it now with one leg on the bench? For the beam, sorry. Whoa. Ooh, can I do it, can I do it? Of course I can. And go down, can I balance? One leg on the beam. Let's see how low I can go. Let's challenge myself. So, I gave it a go for some balancing. So what you could do at home, you could do it maybe on the bench or something else. Practice balancing. You can walk across something in the playground. You can give it a go as well. So remember, it's a warm-up move today. Also, we don't have to balance and walk across a beam. So if you can't find the beam, you can also find something in the playground, in the park, or a bench, and just give it a go. So that was today. That was Coach Lewis's story time and movement number five. Hope to see you next week and we'll have another book for you. Take care, have a great week, bye bye.